Want a holiday gift your employees or clients will actually love? Send them gourmet peanuts from Hubbard Peanut Company. Hubs Peanuts is a family-owned company that's been making high-quality, delicious peanuts and sending them to every corner of the globe since 1954. Order some of Hubs plain, salted, or chocolate-covered peanuts in a special gift tin for the perfect gift for your friends, employees, clients, or even yourself. Visit HubsPeanuts.com. That's H-U-B-S Peanuts.com. And we're live. Welcome to Strike Out Beer, the Monday night show. With your pals, Alan Rapid Dave. I'm Rapid Dave. I'm Alan. Well, hi, Alan. How's it going? <laughs> you know what? I'm just living the dream, right? It's all we're doing these days. Just another day in paradise. Yeah. Let's, uh, I hear you, man. Rock and roll it. You know, whatever, whatever it is that kids <laughs> are saying these days. I was trying to, we're trying to stream to Kick. So we're on Kick now, but for some reason from StreamYard, it didn't work. So they're still working on a couple things, so I think that's just part of it. So we created a Kick account. We're actually live on Facebook, YouTube, Twitch, Twitter, and Spreaker for audio only. Buckeye Bunny, how are you doing? A lot of people are uh, over on YouTube. I said we were going live. Uh, I, I hit the live button or, you know, prepared the uh, stream, and right. they just started coming in. That, that's a, a tribute to old school 2.0 over there on YouTube. Our guy, he's, he's just always he's nothing but support, right? He's such a great guy. He's kind of a big deal. <laughs> he is kind of a big deal, right? <laughs> All right. So you said that we have two different beers tonight because you couldn't get your hands on the one I had. I went earlier um, to get mine. So what do you got? I have well, – so both of our beers are from Martin House. Okay. So we're both drinking from Martin House tonight. I am drinking Big Country. <laughs> your little <laughs> – I almost got that one, but I was like, it's really uh, – I think the ABV and the – I think it's got some sugar or something like that in there, so – it's smoked pecan, pecan, uh, and vi- vanilla stout, and this bad boy is ten percent alcohol by volume. Nice. We so. generally go big on Monday nights. Guppy says, "Yep, old school. That's what I'm talking about." All right, that's a nice. They got nice cans out there at Martin House. Martin House Brewing in Fort Worth, Texas. You can check them out on Facebook, uh, Twitter. They're on TikTok too. They do all kinds of stuff. Cool little videos. For me, this is Martin House. Uh, astronaut apocalypse. This is Imperial stout with coconut made in Texas by Texans. They always have cool can art. Like I said, it's it's one of those things where it just looks amazing. I like it. So, uh, let's see. Oh God, it's a 12 percenter. I didn't even look. I now I just looked and I'm not, I'm down terrified. Imperial coconut or Imperial stout with coconut 12% ABV government warning. Oh, that's just a warning. I thought they had like a nice little, uh, I didn't even see the twelve percent. Damn it! <laughs> I, I'm telling you, I think we've had that. Uh, I think we've done like a, a a pre-show on it or something like that. Oh boy! Um, but yeah, so so we're both rocking with beers as dark as our souls um, and as cold as your ex's heart. Oh, buddy, mine smells delicious. Like the the vanilla is strong in this one. It it smells good. It looks crazier than hell. It really does. Got a great okay. head on it. Per- perfect pour, I might add. You know, there's one thing I can do, and it's pour beers. Not great or anything like that. I can just pour beers. Pour. <laughs> I can just pour a beer. Whatever, man. <laughs> All right. Cheers to you. Let's see what we got here. Cheers. <laughs> What's I, up, Lizzie? I can already kind of taste um, the coconut. You can smell the coconut, taste the coconut. Uh, let me see what else. If I, you know what? I'm not even looking it up because it's pointless. Because they don't put anything, <laughs> they don't put anything on untapped or anything about There's like no words. They're like coconut stout. That's all they'll put. You know, they could have put they could put Beer. anything else. Like what the inspiration was, I don't care. You know, <clears throat> what the hell the guy had on when he brewed the damn thing. I don't make care. Cool, make up a cool story, something like that. No, they just put beer. I think, I, I think I would do that. I think I'd have like some little crazy kooky backstory for everything that I did just because like, but here's the man himself. Old school 2.0. The man. I wonder if you let me see. Give a little, a little extra bravado there. <laughs> All right. Enough of that. <laughs> <laughs> enough of that. 
This isn't his show. This is our show. Yeah. This is- <laughs> so I've got hockey on one channel. I have Fight Club on the other because apparently you can't watch. I think the the Mavs played earlier, but I just I didn't watch the game. So you know, usually I have a couple things going on. Baseball starts uh, this week, if I'm not mistaken. So we're going to talk about that on Wednesday Thursday. night. Yeah, Thursday, Thursday for Thursday. the Rangers. The Mavs lose again. Oh God, I I assume they would. Yeah. Oh no, they won one twenty seven to one hundred four. There we go. Ooh. Beat the Pacers. One twenty what? One twenty what? One twenty seven to one hundred four. Oh crap! I, I think they uh, they covered, or they uh, uh, no 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 they <laughs> they they always been picking under right. And so Luca wasn't supposed to play tonight. Luca got his sixteenth technical. And he wasn't supposed to play. And then they appealed it, and they rescinded it. And I'm like, I'm sitting in the garage just thinking about the ways I'm going to spend this money. I'm like, yeah, it's going to be awesome. And then I see a little ticker go across the bottom of the TV, and it says Luca's playing. I go, well, this is stupid. Abort, abort. Call up your bookie. Hey, hey, buddy, can we just go ahead and cancel that bet real quick? Just push it to next week, (laughs) if you don't mind. Taking a bath lately. Anyways. But, yeah, hell of a Monday. Hell of a weekend. You're probably wondering – why I'm so effing red. <laughs> my Look at this ears, tan, baby. <laughs> my ears are like really red. Like they're warm. Yeah. Warm to they're the warm. touch. I must have hit something. So let me see. I'm going to, you know, since we're on the air and we're live, I'm just going to kind of give you all a little tip too. Oh, they lost. Oh. Damn it. Under. So I've been taking the Mavs under. My brother mm-hmm. told me about it. He goes, man, I've been cleaning house with these motherfuckers this year. <laughs> so, Look, I don't care about cleaning my house. That's what Lizzie's for. <laughs> I need to make some money. Okay. <laughs> so I had it, excuse me, I had it at uh, 235, uh, 235.5 the under. And, of course, I buy points, right? I Keep the extra couple bucks. I don't care. I just want to win. And so I've been doing that. And it's uh pretty nice and of course new jersey new jersey devils lost so yeah that's what i've been doing the last i don't know how many months the mavs suck uh they're not uh, they're just uh, just go full tank mode and j- you know what and on top of that just get rid of luca and his little whiny ass we're going to talk more about that this wednesday but yeah not so this weekend we actually did a um what do, what do you call those things pop swap events pop swap pop swap it's where we have pops and we swap it for your money that's what you told some kids. Some kids like, hey, you want to trade? Yeah, I'll trade you for some cash. Do you have money? No. He goes, so I've never been to one of these swaps before. How does this work? Well, you bring your I wife, go, and then someone else brings theirs, and, you know. You know, everyone throws their keys in a fishbowl, and you see what happens, man. <laughs> Five to one. But, no, I was like, so I have items here for sale, and you give me money. And I'll swap it for the items. He goes, oh, okay, cool, man. (laughs) (laughs) So we were out at Pastime Comics out in Watauga, Texas. Uh, It was from 10 to 7. It was Or 10 to 5. It was a super long day. Beautiful. But it got real sunny real quick. And boy, it just, it ate me alive. We had shade. We had, you know, a nice little breeze and everything like that. But we did spend a lot of time out. We did spend a lot of time out in the sun talking and just... BSing and just hanging out. I mean, it was a lot of fun. A lot of fun. Right? Huh? Yeah. We had a good time. You know, Gillum was there. Got to, to talk to him for a little bit. Cole was out there, of course. Chris, McLean, uh, Lisa, and Brian were over there next to us. Palmer showed up. He was there for a while. Uh, had a good time. Yeah, we had you our know? little section, right? Our little three or four booths together, and we were just kind of hanging yeah. out, and it was just like bouncing back and forth. Go inside every so often to grab some donuts, boilers, and a house water boiler. Have a drink or two. Maybe a couple of adult beverages. Yeah, yeah, and I went and bought more. Then I went and got some pizza. Her here from old school. Hey, thanks, Ted. What's up, Ted? Boss three hundred two. What's going on? Appreciate you coming on over. Appreciate everybody actually that uh, heads over here from old school. That that shows the the level of commitment and the people he's been uh, he's been growing like crazy on YouTube, right? And and just he he was on Facebook, then he was on Twitch, and now he's on YouTube, and he's growing everywhere he goes. He grows. You know, that's just one of those things. And he's got the squad leagues. It's a solo squads league, uh, no builds. It's not solo squads, but it's a squads league and zero, it's no build. Zero squad. Zero squad. Right. Yeah. <clears throat> and so everybody gets, you know, you get your name in a hat and he draws them out every single week. So every single week you're playing with someone new. And it's really cool. They have a lot of fun. And, yeah, we're like the title sponsor of that because we just, you know, like somehow getting in there. I don't know why. Yeah. I'm just like, yeah, yeah, we'll do something. Love all the Star yeah. Wars stuff in the background. 
Oh, oh yeah, you. you got a bunch of Star Wars stuff back there, don't you? I do. I do. You got helmets back there. You can see half of them. Well, I got Star Trek stuff. I don't. I don't. I don't, okay. I don't oh, have any Star Wars stuff. That. That's cool, <laughs> dude. Someone had a damn shirt like that, and it said "Greatest uh, Sci-Fi Movie" or, or it said "Biggest Star Wars Fan," and it had a picture of the. Wake up at Holiday Inn Express to a can't-miss breakfast that's free with every stay. Count on all the hot, fresh coffee you need and an incredible breakfast buffet that has something for everyone, like eggs, cinnamon rolls, and even hot, fresh pancakes with all the toppings you crave. Next time, do yourself a favor and stay at a Holiday Inn Express with a can't-miss breakfast that's free with every stay. So, when you wake up at Holiday Inn Express, you'll wake up happy, a part of IHG Hotels and Resorts. Damn enterprise! <laughs> <laughs> it was at uh, that retro con, and dude, it was. I laughed so damn hard. I go, that's that's awesome. I was like, I just, I really enjoyed that. I was like, I'm gonna buy you a beer. <laughs> I'm, gonna buy, I'm gonna buy you a beer, mother. Oh my uh. god! Well, yeah. Oh, jeez. Well, yeah, that's what we did. And uh, man, I I was I stayed away because I had to watch Succession. I was like, I gotta watch it. Right? I'm I'm catching up. I took a shower because i felt just disgusting and Damn. then ordered ordered some food in i was like hey bing bang bong and then i woke up this morning feeling like a million bucks went straight to work okay nice uh yeah no i came home i took a little bit of a nap a little short one and then you get up and get things ready but i got to bed pretty early i went to bed like 10 last night or something like that so that sun um, that sun just eats your lunch it, man. it does dude it just sucks your whole life force out of you and then yeah, uh, you just on. I was on my feet all day. You know, you were on your feet pretty much all day. We'd sit down. To, we we would sit down to pour beverages, and that was about it, really. Yeah. Um. But yeah, but I mean, it was a good time. You know, a decent amount of people showed up. Um, uh, made a couple bucks and uh, had some fun. Yeah, I I don't know what the deal is with that either, because like. The sun never used to really drain me like it does now. Like you go to the beach, right? You're like hanging out at the beach all day. Ah, just hanging out, you know, relaxing, playing in the playing, you know, body surfing or boogie boarding or whatever. And it's like, you know, back then you'd be like, all right, what are we doing tonight? Now I'm like, yeah, no, I just spent nine, ten hours out on the beach. Like I'm good. Exhausted. <laughs> I'm going to bed. Y'all can do what you want. They go, oh no, it's time to party. I go, you should have woke me up later then in the day. And I would have casually went oh. out there or, you know. Yeah. Or party with me on the beach while I'm out there drinking. Yeah. Right? See, that's the thing, too. I, I I went through a case of beer, so I'm kind of exhausted from drinking all right. day. Uh, who would Those win in a fight? Worf or Chewy? Chewy. Do you know who Worf is? Yeah, the guy with the S all over his face and stuff like that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And it's yeah, Worf, isn't it? W-O-R-F? I don't know, man. He's got the Rocky Mountains on his face. Yeah. No, I know who that guy is. Is it Klingon, right? I think so. Klingon? Well, let's that see. A, that's a thing, right? Mm, the S. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Yeah. That shit. Hey, give me Chewy. Give, give me, me Chewy. Chewy. He can rip his arms off. Right? Chewy's he, strong. It's a strong mother. He, he gets a hold of you. It's over. You know what I mean? If it's hand-to-hand yeah. combat that we're talking, I mean, it's, you know. It's hand-to-hand. It has to be hand-to-hand, right? Yeah. Um, I never seen that thing fight, but I've seen Chewie fight, and he's ripped the ar- arms off of stuff, like just okay. rips them in half. He's like the it's juggernaut fun. of Star Wars. If that's you know, if you could really do that, less hairy <laughs> version, because you know he rips Deadpool in half. <laughs> he goes, "I'm gonna rip you in half." <laughs> just like Terrence seemed all part. Is like, oh, all right, that's funny. That's pretty good. <laughs> Big goals, huh? Oh, well, Jesus. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Oh my goodness. But yeah, I was super excited. I like I got off work. I left work about like two thirty or whatever to come back this way. Stopped at the store. I was like, I'm getting some beer, I'm gonna get some gas. I, was like, I can't wait for tonight. Then I went out back and I'm like cleaning up the garage and the backyard. Well, the problem is all the stuff has fallen out of my tree, so the backyard's like covered, right? So I'm out there blowing stuff around. First thing it does, I just start sneezing. Like just nonstop. <laughs> sneezing 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 i'm like oh my god this is just awful i hate i hate allergies allergies suck drives me crazy good evening everyone here from old school 2.0 thanks for sponsoring his league it's been a lot of fun i hope it has been a lot of fun it's a really good league it looks like it's a lot of fun i just you know i can pop in and say hi but i i just i can't play that's my thing saturday mornings it's not a bad time either 9 a.m i think central time if i'm not mistaken okay and so it's not terrible like bad timing but i just yeah, man, I got to get up and get going. You know how it is around here. Yeah. 
I'm out at the ball field with the kid on it this time of the year, so, you know. Drilling just, her uh, grounders. Come on, Dorn, get in front of the damn ball. <laughs> <laughs> Don't give me this ole bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> it does suck boiler and I hate it. And like when I was in Kentucky, you know, I, yeah, when I was living up there, it was terrible too. Like I, I took my kid up there to visit one summer and his eyes like started to shut. Like the kid was allergic to like grass and trees. I go, you mean like the earth? How the hell are you even around? Like, you know, you're walking on everything you're allergic to and the other shit's producing shade. So <laughs> what's up, Marty? Uh, so that's what I'm doing at the moment. Burning limbs and wood. Uh, are we talking about limbs of trees or body parts? Probably. Because we were just talking about ripping off body parts. So I just want to clarify um, yeah. which which ones we're burning. Probably. Probably would. If I had to just make a guess. Because Marty's a, Marty's a good dude, so I wouldn't think he's burning body parts. I don't, I don't know Marty, so I'm not going to make the assumption. And, you know, if I just say he's just burning, like, tree limbs, he might be offended. Like, look, bro, I'm more hardcore than that. I These are Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to assume what you're doing because when you assume things, you know, just like with anything else, you just just make an ass. You're like, oh wait, you're a dude. Okay, you, come on now, we're not doing what? this. We're not, we're not doing this tonight. <laughs> I meant to send you a gif, and we're probably gonna bring it up for late night or whatever. It says it's a picture of two people. One's a guy, and the other one's uh, apparently supposed to be trans or something like that. It says everyone says my boyfriend is gay because he's dating me, dating a trans girl. And the top comment was actually, you're both gay because you're both guys. And so everything like blew up. Like the comment section is actually the funniest thing on the world when it comes to that shit. Like oh, I yeah, just, I, comments. I'm yeah. not there for anything else. I'm there for comments. I want to see what's going on. And then I just want to put some other bodies for sure. Jesus. That's what Guppy said. You know, Marty said, my name is not Jason. <laughs> oh, is, it, is it Freddy? Freddy. <laughs> Michael. Get that last one. And that's my kid. Uh, literally allergic to every grass and tree around, not allergic to pet dander. So he's got that going for him, which, which, which is nice. It's pretty nice. So let me ask you. So he brought up Jason. So let's say this. Yes. All right. So there's this show on Netflix or whatever. I think it's called The Movies That Shaped Us or something. Anyways, they're going through yeah, yeah, like. Yeah. I've, I've seen, I've watched, they have a whole different series. They have the movies. They also have the toys that shaped us. The toys were good all, too. All that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the movies were great right now. Like, so Lizzie had it on. One, I don't watch scary movies because, one, I'm a giant just chicken. Uh, chicken right, S. Right. I get scared. There's always someone right behind right. me. I'm well nervous. Documented. Yeah. So, anyway, I, but I like I like Halloween. I like sitting down and, like, watching them in a, a very small window of time. Usually about yeah. 2 o'clock in the afternoon. And so, with the lights on and the windows open. But, anyway, in October. But, yeah, so I watched how they made – Halloween and they were talking about it and they what it was it was great like just listening to all that listening to the them revisit it again the next one up was Friday the 13th you want to talk about a funny ass little segment they're like they were just like yeah we didn't know what to do like geez we were just kind of winging it and like, <laughs> like <laughs> it was damn near the Blair Witch Project man like yeah we had like a handheld and we're like running through the woods and it's like <laughs> adult <laughs> next series <laughs> yeah it shapes some people, that's for damn sure. Molds sure. them. Right? <laughs> there there was something I saw, I heard Gordon talk about on the ticket one morning, and I kind of came in at the tail end of it, but it was essentially about this lady who was in love with a 747 jet. What? Plane, yeah. Like, there was one specific one that she was in love with. Wait, hold on. And- you, are we talking about the movies that shaped us? No, we were talking about adult toys that shaped us. Oh, okay. And so this lady was involved in love with a with an airplane. And uh <laughs> I, I didn't know where we were going. I'm going, would she identify as a seven thirty seven or something? And just No, to... no, she identified as a female in love with an airplane. Love is love. There's nothing you can it's stop a, it. It's Look. somewhere over there in like Europe or something like that that she was I think it's it was un- like maybe even Germany, you it, know. It's so beautiful and it's so unstoppable. It's just amazing. Yeah. You get some of those those people over there in, in those countries over there in those European countries where you're kind of, some of them they're very repressed attacking right? attacking some European countries. Uh, welcome to the show, everybody. <laughs> yeah, um, where they're just you know it's just not as free to love like they are here. Like you can love anything or be anything you want to. Yeah, don't you let, identify as a deer. Do it. Don't don't let your mind slow you down either. Really get after it. You know what just, I mean. 
I heard us. There was someone that identified as a uh, was a red a red sparrow or a hawk, red hawk or something like that. I shit you okay. not. I I, I the, we got to play the clip. Like I'm gonna find it. We're gonna play it. And we're gonna talk about it because they say they're they're trapped in human form. I don't think they're I don't, obviously. I don't think they're from this planet either. There's something up with that. So it's like you know, I feel like we need to just cut them open and see what's going on in there. They're from know? like Tatooine or something like that. Right? There's Damn something. Sand. A couple moons. I hate saying it gets everywhere. Everywhere. Oh, Marty, the scariest movie I watched as a little kid was when the last. <coughs> Calling all hunters and outdoor enthusiasts. It's time to discover the difference with Alpen Optics. When it comes to premium optics, Alpen is where form meets function. Their state of the art devices are built for those with the highest demands. As dedicated hunting enthusiasts and nature observers, Alpen understands that you need 100% reliability when out in the wild. With Alpen, you won't have to compromise. Whether you're stalking, night hunting, or observing wildlife, Alpen Optics offer top-class materials and cutting-edge technology that keeps you in control, no matter the conditions. And here's the best part. Use promo code EXPLORE15 and get a fantastic 15% off your Alpen Optics purchase. So visit alpenoptics.com today and experience the wild like never before. Don't lose track. Get a 15% discount with the code EXPLORE15 at alpenoptics.com. Alpen Optics. Discover the difference. Are you struggling to conceive? You have options. And at Piedmont Reproductive Endocrinology Group, we'll make sure you have the guidance and support you need. Preg is known for individualized fertility care that's unique to every patient. We take the time to provide a reassuring and empowering experience because we believe that you deserve nothing less. Let us help you on your journey to parenthood. Visit us at pregonline.com to learn more. Get the guidance and support you need at Piedmont Reproductive Endocrinology Group. Streaming stops. Look it up back in 77. I will write that down. All right. So I guess we'll check that out. But yeah, my mom like ruined me with all these movies. She always had them on, right? She always had like, you know, she'll play Friday the 13th. She'd have Nightmare on Elm Street. Jesus Christ, I couldn't even fall asleep. I was terrified. You know, I was like, Jesus, it was crazy. And uh, what was that other one? I found it. Gordon was talking about on the ticket. This is like a decade ago, if not longer. And he was talking about these crazy, scary movies. And someone was bringing up, they were like, Sleepaway Camp. I go, Never heard of it. Well, let me go see what's going on. It's the weirdest movie, but, man, it is effing weird. And, like, that, the, that kid at the end, she's like, ah! She's, you know, got a hold of the head. Little wiener hanging out. Like, yeah, 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 okay. I can't remember if that was Sleepaway or Hideaway. Sleepaway like, or Hideaway. I don't know what it is. Yeah. No, yeah. The spoiler alert. She's got a wiener. And it's weird to see a child Dude, peeing just, on television. I'm like, what is going on? It made me feel very weird and uncomfortable. When I was a kid, it was Silver Bullets. I don't know what that means. It, like, is that the Coors yeah, Light thing? It's a scary, no, a scary movie. It's like uh, about a werewolf. Obviously, I remember, I remember watching that. So you, you used to have <laughs> your old school. It was Saturday mornings, Saturday morning or cartoons. Sunday mornings after cartoons on like one of the channels was like they had like the scary movies after that, and it was like Elvira. It wasn't Elvira. It was like, you know, I'm going to have to look it up and, and and figure out what it was. But it was like the scary movie. And it would play like those campy, like kind of scary movies and oh. things like that. Like, like the Critters movies and things like that. You know, uh, Trolls, the Trolls movies Bro. was another one. Uh, not the Trolls with Poppy and, and Branch now, but the Trolls that took over the apartment complex. I went to camp one time and I swear to God, I it was like six, seven, I think it was like seventh or eighth grade, but like the fifth grade camp thing, I didn't go to. I was like, I ain't gonna make it. I ain't gonna make it. I was like, I ain't even gonna sleep. I ain't gonna sleep. I, I ain't gonna sleep for however long the camping trip. Well, Brandon, it's a week. I go, I ain't gonna sleep for a week. <laughs> it's gonna scare the piss out of me. I'm gonna be sitting there just a, a terrible mess. But yeah, no, Elvira, when she came on, it made me feel weird in a different way when I was younger. I was like, huh. I don't know what's going on. Something never going had on. this tingling feeling before. What's going ah, on? Something, something's up. <laughs> All of a sudden, my, my jeans are tighter. What's going on? Oh my god! I went back and started watching her movies this year. Just to, uh, it was like to revisit. I haven't watched one Elvira thing in thirty years, right? And it, it's just so goofy and weird. It just reminds me of like the you know not the horror films that used to try to scare the shit out of you, but a, a funny horror kind of. I don't know. Like a Mel Brooks movie almost. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of, I go, I got some chuckles out of it and whatnot. And I think she, uh, 
you know, she, she was playing Elvira and going here and there and doing this and that. And it was, it was, I was like, okay, cool. And I almost got to all of them. I think there was a couple left, but. Okay. Marty mm-hmm. said this one time at band camp. I'd go to band camp. I think like now, you think so? yeah, if I was like younger now, I was like, Oh yeah. That's apparently creepy. that's like, where you can go to band camp now. Like that's yeah, kind of throw me back in time because then it's like, yeah, you're just teeing off. But if you're going back in time, you're still the same age. Oh like, well, no, never mind. That yeah, sucks. Yeah, that's, you're, you're 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 putting off very uh... <laughs> creepy, creepy vibes. You don't ever want to listen. Like when you're younger, you have no idea what you're doing, right? And that's just kind of like you know, you don't know if they're terrible. Anything's terrible. You're just it's like pizza, right? All all mm-hmm. pizza is good pizza. Now when you get older, you're like I don't, I don't want anybody that's younger than me, like in the twenties. I don't even know how like. I, I think if like something like something happens between you and Liz, right? You're 42 years old, 43 now. You're 43 years old. God, I'm so. How old. much lower? How much younger would you go? Like, what's your cutoff? Where you're like, I'm just not dealing with this shit. I, I think I'm kind of at the age where it's like I don't even care what the age is. I'm just kind of done. Like, you just hang I, them up. I'm just, I'm just done. Like, yeah. it's you know, let me do what I want. You know, someone help me. I'm trying to think of the blob. Oh, that's uh the blo- that kept getting. It's either the blob or it's that thing from the uh, that overnight thing that they they had like ser- uh, scream or sc- creep uh, creepy tales or something like that. I can't think of it. There was something where they were like on a on a um, a raft out in the middle of the lake, and then they're there, and then the, like the blob gets them or something like that. There's um. Creep, was it from Creep Show, The Raft? There you go, Creep Show. Stephen King, Creep Show, The Raft. Well, that's the one that's that when I googled black goo in the pond movie scene. Mm-hmm. So I think they had another one called The Blob, but yeah, no, that uh, that's what I think. I, it's the Creep Show, Creep Show should be it. But yeah. yeah, I don't, I don't know how much younger it takes from the dark side. I don't know, man. Just keep firing shots. You're doing great. You miss a hundred percent of the shots you don't take. I don't know, man. Look it up on your phone. <laughs> Look it up. This isn't Google. <laughs> What I want you to do is get on the internet, right? Google.com and just start typing in stuff that might remind oh. you. They're, they're close enough. Why are you telling me to use <laughs> Google.com and not internet.com? I'm confused. Lugal. I said Lugal. Lugal. <laughs> yeah. Okay, thanks. Yeah, I'm telling you. I think it's I think it's Creep Show. Yeah. I remember that one because it was like, you scare the shit out of me too. But yeah, okay, thanks. Yeah, God. But yeah, I don't like, you know, you think about that. And like when you're younger, you're just like, oh, I don't really care. I'm just, I'm just excited to be there, right? But, like, when you get older, you're like, there's no effing way. Like, I don't – I'm not dealing with anything. <laughs> I don't want to – like, like think, like, trying to keep up with, like, a 20-year-old, right? Someone in their mid-20s who's like, remember how you were in your mid-20s? We're Married and had two kids? Yeah, I totally remember. Okay. Just just think of how, how much, like, sing, single Brandon days, right? We'd go out to the bars and just, like, every night, and it's like – I'm sweating now just thinking about it. Like, I'm sweating the booze out just thinking about it. Yeah, and, like, that was just us just going out and just two dudes going and hanging out and drinking at bars, right? Yeah. I'd be okay with that. Hassling cover bands to play Jungle Love, right? (laughs) Somebody come up and say, hey, what's going on? I beat it, kid. I'm I'm not interested. (laughs) I'm just trying to enjoy my night. I don't want to work for it. I just want to hear Jungle Love. That's all I want. (laughs) Yeah. I I don't want anything else right now more in my life than to hear Jungle Love. Yeah, tell us about your single days. You want to hear more about them? Because they were a blast. So this was one time me and Rap Dave entered a giant Jenga tournament, <laughs> like second place or something like that. That was cool. Yeah, um, we're pretty good at Jenga. Ate a, of, ate a lot of pretzels, drank a lot of beer, went a lot of baseball games. Yeah, I like yeah. base. I like baseball. It was a uh, hello it, Saber Code Red. How are you doing? Again, it was just just going out and then waking up the next morning and going to work. Like, oh my god. I, I never puked day. so much in my life. Like all over that building, that building, like I, just, I hit every spot. I was like some dog, right? That was just like marking his territory. I, I mean, puke. <laughs> it was all around the building, inside, outside. I mean, there was for some reason they had two stupid doors heading to the bathroom. Like oh, so, you had to yeah, open one door yeah. just to get to the next door. How are you felt? We're doing great. I'm sorry you came in here during uh, me talking about this, but you know, you talk, but yeah. Anyone seen the movie New Mutants? The big tall guys with the creepy big smiles. Yeah, I've seen it. I've seen it. it wasn't that it was, the big creepy smile? It sounds like the guy from Roger yeah. Rabbit. What the hell is his name? <laughs> the, Remember me, Eddie? Judge? When I dropped it, when I killed your brother, I talked just like this. <laughs> 
<laughs> I remember there was one day we got in and like we got there like eight o'clock in the morning for some dumb reason after closing down the bars. Mm-hmm. And we were it was probably like eight fifteen. And I see you get up and walk to you walk to the bathroom at a rather quick pace. Quick so, pace. That's why they call me Rapid Dave. I get around fast. <laughs> you come out and you go. I'm done. Let's go to IHOP. I was like, all right. <laughs> and I never go to IHOP. That's how bad it was. I was like, I don't ever go to IHOP. So we went to work for 20 minutes. <laughs> I was like, all right, we're out of here. I got to go. That's enough overtime for today. <laughs> oh, God. So rough. That, that building yeah, was rough. I mean, that was just us just going out and hanging out and drinking, not, not chasing anything, right? Mm-hmm. Now, I just couldn't imagine, like, going out and trying to chase anything now. Like, it just... Just thinking about it just exhausts me. Like, right? I just I don't have the energy. I just want to go to sleep now. Just thinking about it. Like, I, like well, the, here's the comparison to it. Like now, like if you go and apply for a job now, like I think I been with the same company for 14 years now, right? But about like 10 years ago, I was like, you know what? I'm done here. And I applied at another auto finance company. But in order to just get an interview, you got to sit down and you got to fill out those stupid surveys oh. that take like an hour and a half asking you the same question five different ways. I did that once and I was like, you know what? I'm not looking for another job ever again <laughs> like, because I don't want to do it. Just thinking of that process, right? Having to go through and do that dumb survey and then having to interview and talk to someone and try and convince them I can do the job. I'm like, you know what? I, I, I just don't want to. I, I think today and watch John Wick four. It was good, dude. I can't wait. I got to go see that. Never seen any of them. I thought to. about watching them though. Like I had a, I thought about watching. How long is the, are they long movies? No, they're like an hour and a half. They're action movies. Hour they're quick half. movies, right? Here's <sighs> what you do: get yourself, get yourself a a, a twelve pack of beer. Uh huh. Order yourself a pizza. Uh-huh. Sit down and have some fun. It just doesn't appeal to me. It just doesn't. I just, just just do it. Lizzie, you want to sit down and watch uh, John Wick movies with me one night? How about an in-house date? We'll have a little date. We'll sit there and have some pizza, maybe some beer. What what drives you crazy about applying for jobs, Saber? You know what really grinds my gears? You know, I, when I <laughs> when they're like, hey, do you think you can, uh, what do you think you think you'd fit for this job? I go, well, I'm actually just looking to look, work somewhere else. Obviously, I can do the job. I've been employed for 14 years. So, yeah, I'm actually pretty good. I'm I'm punch him right. in the, punch him punch him john wick is the modern chuck norris do you watch your mouth yeah come on man it's and it's hey. keanu reeves let's let's easy let's let's dial it on back buddy lizzie said okay so i guess i'm gonna watch those stupid movies all right here you go when you apply online they ask you to attach your resume <laughs> then proceeds to have you fill out a resume right I've never is three and a half hours. What? Oh, Jesus Christ. No, I'm not watching I that. No, that that's accurate. The only movie that's that accurate. I watch is three and a half hours long is Titanic. That's the only movie I'll watch because my heart okay. will go on. Always. Always. That, that <laughs> bitch should have got off that damn door. Jack could still be with us right now. Talking, yucking it up, bullshitting. Hey, hey, turns. Yeah. There was enough room. Hey, Just, you know what? You you already you got together and got on top of each other and did the horizontal mambo. Mm-hmm. Just do it on the table. Yeah. Or on the chair. Keep you warm. I would have floated that car out there and just hung out in the car. <laughs> Probably smelt funny, though. That's annoying. I just fell out in a, yeah, no shit. I put We're C resume. resume. Yeah. <laughs> I think I was applying for a job. I mean, I don't know how long ago it was. And it was like, you know, hey, we would love for you to apply. You know, they ask you to apply. Okay, no problem. And then like, eh, attach your resume. And then they started asking the question. Go, nah. I was like, I'm not doing that. And then they were like, I, I noticed you didn't, uh, no, she didn't fill out the, you, you stopped halfway through. I go, yeah, it was asking me the questions that are on the resume. Yeah. So what do like, you want? I was like, I don't, I don't have time for that kind of shit. Here's the thing. You want me to apply for your job? Cool. Tell me when the interview is. Yeah. You, you've seen what I have, right? You reached out to me and you want me to come work for you. Let's just set up an interview. Why do I got to go online and fill out all this damn paperwork and answer the, the same question five times worded differently? That's why I like LinkedIn. I think LinkedIn or Indeed, one of those two back in the day, um, they kind of were the middleman on it because you answered all the questions, you know, along the way. Like, you know, you're, you're right. when you set up your account and you put your resume out there or whatever and it reads it and all that kind of S and whatnot, you know what? <laughs> yeah. No, I just I was like, no, nah, I'm out. 
Yeah, no, I, for me, and I've been at the same company, Alan, you know, and I've been with it for like 14 years. So I just, uh, yeah, I don't care. <laughs> I, just, I, I, I work from home, you know, majority. Of the, I have to only have to go to the office twice a month. Uh-huh. Um, we got yeah, a, I'm just not. We got an exact getting, count here, 169 minutes, Jeff says. Okay. Damn. I don't, I'm not watching that. It does look cool. The that's, previous that's, look. Hour, that's okay. It's over an hour and a half, but still. No Wait, thanks. Hold that's, on. What'd you say? So over bad. an hour and a half? Yeah, yeah. Well, it's over two hours. Yeah, okay. It's 120. In. It's. I'm in. Oh, God. I watched Schindler, Schindler's List once. How long is that? Seven hours? The one that Rafi and uh, Dirty Randy did? No. The one with. Uh, um, the, the the taken guy. I don't know what you know, that is. Got a certain set of skills. You ever seen the taken movies? Mm-mm. Those those are fun too. I don't watch stuff like that. You don't watch fun movies? Educational nah. only over here. I don't watch that stuff. Come on. It's, You're so full of I don't ass. watch that smut. It's it's all okay. just Avatar was over three hours. You yeah, my Avatar damn too. my damn legs fell asleep. <laughs> Lee Nielsen Nielsen, that's the guy. Yeah. The old guy. I'm just giving you crap. I know yeah. who it is. Those are fun movies. I never heard of him. Oh, you mean oh, he's Obi, uh, not Obi Wan. Yeah, he did play Obi Wan, right? Or Anakin? No, he played Anakin oh, Qui-Gon. Skywalker. Qui Gon, Qui Gon, son of a bitch. You watch your mouth, hooker. <laughs> I did sit down and watch uh, Avatar. We went and saw Avatar two for some stupid reason, and it was like you were for, excited about it. It was forever long. I never know. No. Yes, you were. You're like, dude. Hey, what was it? Christmas. Was it Christmas, Christmas Day? Christmas oh yeah, because it gave me something to do on Christmas we're gonna, Day. We're, we're gonna go see Avatar two. Gonna go blah 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 blah. You were so excited, dude. We were gonna like take gummies and go to the the movies. I was so damn excited. And I was like, then we and then when I got there, they had beer. I go, oh oh, oh, oh yes. And then Lizzie was, you know, she gets up every like twenty five minutes, like at clockwork. And then she's like, you want to drink? Oh, it's a pope shit in the woods. Of course, I want to drink. And I'm like, you know. <laughs> and it wasn't hot. I was able to sit there and relax, so I wouldn't sweat my balls off. <laughs> You've watched the Lord of the Ring movies. God, they're so bad. I fell asleep on the well, second one in the theater. The mountains. Again, no thanks. I did see a funny meme. It was uh, three movies about goddamn walking. In reference to Lord of the Rings. Even the and trees it was uh, were... it had Pedro Pascal there saying, uh, I'll take Frodo to the mountain. You know, uh, I'll take him to the to the mountain of Mordor or wherever the hell he had to go. And then it was just like, all right, no one else is needed here. I'm telling you, they had eagles. They could have flown him there. It's ridiculous. Yeah. That whole stupid. Even the trees walked in those movies. They were stupid. <laughs> Vikings in the house. What's up? Yeah, I don't know. I, Lizzie loves the the Return of the King though. She does really, really like that. What's your shoe size again? Me? I'm a, I'm a, I'm a twelve wide. If you're asking me, why is she asking me that, dude? She must be. I think her. She's probably asking someone else that, and then like it came in a. Uh, I'm I like eleven wide. I don't know. Yeah, my feet are shrinking. You should be twelve and a half wide. Now I'm like 11, barely 11. Hold on. About to go down to 10 and a half. Give me a nice uh, new balance and 12 wide and I'm good. Why do you wear those those shoes? I saw your shoes Saturday and like they they point up like those goofy cowboy boots that the, some of the dudes wear down here. Like, are you yeah, really I'm supposed to wear those shoes that long? Because it doesn't look so, like your feet are that long. Uh, Looks well, like you got your daddy's shoes on or something like that. It wasn't a wide, so I had to wear a size 13 in that one. I think it was like an Adidas. You look like you're like walking around with clown shoes on. I thought they were going to squeak uh, and shit. I go, you probably have a little bit, you know, smell my flower. You know what I mean? I didn't know what you had going on. I'll totally do that. <laughs> you should. Cowtown. 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 Here it comes. <laughs> Cowtown. Here it comes. Do you guys plan on seeing the Super Mario movie? Yes, I do. Bought my tickets already. I bought them actually like two oh, weeks really? ago. Yeah. For no reason other than my son's going to be here. Um, he's he's flying in town from college for the week. So I was like, ah, you know what? Something to do on a Thursday? No, Wednesday, actually. Wednesday before the show. So, yeah. Wednesday. Okay. Yeah. It's, uh, it's Wednesday like four. Mario. What's up, Patrick? How you doing? I know, right? I'm kind of excited. You know, that was Mario's kind of a big deal for us. You know what I mean? That's what we played when we yeah. were younger. Um, Patrick, what's up? How are you doing? But yeah, I, it just, it seriously does. It, it's one of those things where, uh, it, it's, I like Mario, right? It's, uh, hopefully it's good. Lizzie, redeem, take a drink. Cheers. 
I'm semi looking forward to it. We'll see how it goes. I've got low expectations, so I really don't care. My three year old starts screaming your game, your game every time the Super Mario Bros. commercial comes on. Definitely gonna have to take her. Oh nice. Oh, yeah, yeah, we're doing that, uh that's... we're doing X D because it looks massive. It looks like it'd be cool on the bigger screen and louder and all that S. So I... and what? I'm Jack Black as Bowser. I'm in on that. Um, I'm I'm in on Charlie Day as Luigi. I, I love Charlie Day, right? I think Charlie Day is freaking hilarious. Wild card. Chris Pratt. I, I do enjoy Chris Pratt. You know, I have seen some other things like the very first trailer. You didn't really hear kind of an accent, but like other trailers that have come out, and you've heard it a little bit more because you've heard him talk a little bit more. Um, I, I don't know. I'm looking forward to it. It's gonna be fun. He's the only one I got a problem with. I think you know, it, I, the only one I'm nervous about. So we'll see. We'll see how it goes. I'm going with open mind, just to think of like, hey, I'm gonna, I'm there with my kid. Like I said, his girlfriend's coming into town with him, and so it's me, her, him, Lizzie. We're gonna sit there and enjoy our afternoon together. Maybe we'll get in some ice skating beforehand, and then uh, we'll do the show, and then I'll report back and let you know what I think. Yeah, uh, Jeff, I just think they really nailed the look from what I can tell. Oh yeah, no, the look. That's the way you do a Mario movie, right? You don't do it like they did back with you know. Uh, John Linguizano and then back in the day. No right? offense. No, actually crap. No disrespect. No disrespect. Um, it's it's an animated movie, right? That mm-hmm. needs to be animated d- to get it right. Uh, Mario's not going to say the end. Mario's not going to say the end is going to say game over. Game over. Mm. I just bought a pet termite. Named him Clint. Clint eats wood. <laughs> Everybody welcome up. Did you miss your deadline to renew your Medicaid coverage? You can still send your completed annual review form to Healthy Connections Medicaid. You may be assigned to another health plan, but you can ask to come back to First Choice within 60 days of renewed Medicaid eligibility. It's your family. It's your choice. First Choice is the right choice. Renew and choose us. Visit selecthealthofsc.com slash renew to learn more. Looking for a fun way to win up to 25 times your money this basketball season? Test your skills on Prize Picks, the most exciting way to play daily fantasy sports. Just select two or more players, pick more or less on their projection for a wide variety of stats, and place your entry. It's as easy as that. If you have the skills, you can turn $10 into $250 with just a few taps. Easy gameplay, quick withdrawals, and injury insurance on your picks are what make Prize Picks the number one daily fantasy sports app. Ready to test your skills? Join the Prize Picks community of more than 7 million players who have already signed up. Right now, Prize Picks will match your first deposit up to $100. Just visit prizepicks.com slash get100 and use code get100. That's code get100 at prizepicks.com slash get100. For a first deposit matchup to $100. Prize Picks, daily fantasy sports made easy. Uh, Billy Joe to the house. Which one is it? I think it's this one. Hold on. And this week's dad joke is brought to you by JB Carts. Check them out on Facebook and Instagram and at jbcarts.com. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Billy Joe. I, I But it looks like... I don't know. For some reason, I brought it back to where it made made me think of like old school Mario, not like uh, obviously, you know, 8 bit or 16 bit or whatever, but like Mario World uh, when it was on um, the Cube. Super Nintendo or 64? The Cube. The Cube. And that's that's what it kind of looked like. And I was like, okay, you know, and so I was, it looked very enjoyable. I I can't wait to watch it. Um, But yeah, when when I saw the commercial for it and said, okay, well, let me see if I can get it because I'm not off all next week. I'm just off a couple of days. Right. So I got to work in golf. I got to work in freaking, you know, this and that. And I'm trying to cram like six months in because my kid, he couldn't fly in during Christmas because, you know, everything got shut down. Right. Like when all hell Mm -hmm. broke loose, you know, flights were being canceled and delayed. He was at the airport pissed. I mean, he was so mad. So what do we got here? How about them chiefs? Uh, Billy Joe, I don't know if follow, just follow, just work. I don't even have Facebook open. I don't either. So if it, if it responded, I'm sorry, man. You've been with us for a long time. How about this? Two years, three months. Tell us how long. How's, how's that sound? Tell us how long. Tell us. Copy and paste. Billy Joe, do you have a koozie sticker t-shirt or whatever from us? I don't I, know that he does. I think you need to get something from us. And if you want something, I think about a thousand days. How many have in, okay. is that, three years? Right. <laughs> uh, Billy Joe, show us your address. <clears throat> We're going to send you some, uh, with a shirt size. Yeah. Address with a shirt size. Mm-hmm. Get you a nice soft shirt. Get you, get you a little... Uh, 
thank you package. How's that sound? Yeah. You like beer too? How about beer? See, boil, uh, boilers, it should work. Oh, you know what? We don't have, I don't have it set up on here. I have it set up on the other one, but not on here. <laughs> so about them, Chiefs. Damn it, boiler. So far, so far they've lost Juju Smith-Schuster mm-hmm. and McCall Hardeman. Who, who do they have as a wide receiver? Nobody. Crab is Kelsey. They don't need nobody else. I mean, you got to have someone else. Not really. You have to have wide receivers line up, right? You think so? Like, you're just gonna you just gonna run the <laughs> goal line every time. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, yeah, I mean, would, just run, just throw it, just have a guy run the flat. No one cares who it is. I did see uh, a meme that said uh, Lamar Jackson next season, uh-huh. and it was Pat Mahomes handing the ball off to him as a as a running back. Oh Jesus! Hard to believe Bama is out, but roll tied anyways. I mean, Bama's out because they suck. Well, doesn't matter. He'll put it in your hands if you want. Oh Jesus! Hey, Let's go. Let's go be wide receivers for the Chiefs. How's that sound? You win. Yeah, I'm setting up a followage command. Okay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Billy Joe's in. All right. So there's there's their three receivers. Billy, Rapid Dave, and Billy Joe. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I'm just running. I'm just running. Yeah, flat like corners and stuff. Just call me Slant Man because that's all I'm doing. All I'm doing is running button hooks. Yeah, see, it's more uh, Sky Moore Valdez. Heard they were getting. A, they're not getting OG. OBJ just signed with the Jets. I thought. No, no, not yet. He didn't. Hopkins. No. Is, I heard Hopkins might be going to New England. That's what I heard. Hopkins is. Here's the last I saw. They were wanting a second rounder and extra assets. Uh-huh. And then I saw earlier today is like. Turns out they might not be getting that second rounder and uh, access uh, m- more assets. It might be more like around a fifth or a sixth round pick. And I'm like, what? Mm. For D-Hop? Unbelievable. If, if, if that's what's going to take to get D-Hop, I don't care what team you're on. You get, I'll give up a fifth or a sixth rounder for D-Hop. Like, Jeff, I'll walk a slant. Not sure about running. <laughs> I got a nice little jog to me. You know what I mean? It's. Not a walk. It's not a sprint. It's just a it's, nice little. It's, it's the power walk where you have one part of, there's at least one part of a foot touching the ground at all times. Yeah, I can do you that. You see those guys at like three o'clock in the morning mm-hmm. during the Olympics, just going to town. I think yeah. I just pulled something doing that. Like, I feel like it's, I just wiggled something loose. It's not good. It's not good. You probably did. You probably God. did. Now I feel like such a, 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 a schmuck. <laughs> Jeff, a waddle. It kind of is a little bit of a waddle. I got a little, a little bit waddle, of a waddle. waddle, waddle, waddle. Power a, walk for the win. That's right. I got a big old ass, so it just takes a lot to shake it. You know what I'm saying? And once you get it going, good luck stopping it. Yeah. I, I, I can't have trouble unhitching that trailer these days. <laughs> I just realized that, yeah, I'm in the wrong thing. Anyways, I right, F it. I'm screwed. I'm done. Done, done, done. <laughs> Shutting it down. What are you, Billy Joe? Don't put your address whoa, in there. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Blo- block that. Get rid of that. No, no, no. Delete it, Billy Joe. Delete it. All right, I'll delete it. I'll delete it. I'll delete it. There we go. Send us a send us a private message. Sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jeez, come on, man. Private. You know what? Don't don't do anything. If that's the address, I got it. Okay, I got it. I got it. No, I don't want your damn. I don't want your social security number. Don't give it. Don't put that out there either. Jesus. Yeah. Make sure you send over your SSN, your date of birth. No. Uh, God. Name. God. Just send it. Just send me. A, just send me a message, man. We got it. Got it. I want more celebrities in the power walking. Paul Rudd versus Pharrell. Where the hell did you grab those two names from? They're they're big celebrities. Big celebrities. Pharrell, Paul Rudd. Pharrell is still Will, a thing. Oh, Will, Will Ferrell. Oh. Ferrell, not Pharrell. Yeah, not Pharrell on the bench. Ah, ah. Uh, bank routing number next. Yeah, no. routing number and account number. Yeah, oh. just shoot that over. <laughs> damn it billy joe i'm trying to make sure i try to there we go i think i deleted it so okay so I, yeah it shows deleted it i, shows so, I have it in the chat but i don't i just, yeah i deleted it so i don't have to make sure i don't have to look at it like, oh my god <laughs> not that it's a big deal where? <laughs> you know it's not like we couldn't find it anyways i mean the hell everything's on the internet you know shit and you can find out anything well, especially addresses like where people live but uh but yeah all, all right i have to do is cross reference uh bubble ho temp uh, merchandise and where it's shipped to. What's the number one address Bubba Hope Tip shit is shit to send to? L Studs in the house. You're doing great, pal. Thank you, buddy. What's up, bud? Well, How are you? L Stud? How, how's it? How's the car slinging life treating you, buddy? You doing good? Slinging some cars? 
<sighs> what a time to be alive. Yeah. Put you, I'll put you in a car so cheap you didn't know you bought yourself a car. Yeah. This car's so cheap, I'm paying you. Jesus. I don't know. I, you know, we're, we're talking about getting new cars and stuff like that. Of course, Lizzie is. I never, I really never am. She's but, always talking about getting a new car. Yeah. And I think she's going to delay it. And I'm like, you are? And she's, yeah, I guess so. And, you know, I was like, all right. I mean, you can trade, you know, your car. You, both of our cars are paid for. And then I have my right. truck. And I was like, I think I'm going to somehow work my truck into getting me another car or something like that. And I was like, because at first I was just going to trade it in for like that Harley that I saw. Right. The last time we were up at, uh, there's Harley Davidson dealership, Maverick, ha- uh, Maverick Harley in Carrollton, Texas. We're there along with, now we're not set up in a tent or anything like that, but just to let you know, yeah. Outfit Brewing is set up there the third Wednesday of every single month out there slinging free beer. One of the two. Yeah. We got two different answers on that one. Yeah. They're out there slinging beer. It's awesome. We're going to be out there every time, whenever we can, right? For the second or third uh, Wednesday, we'll definitely post and let everybody know if we're going to be out there. So if you're local, you want to come on out, come on out, hang out with us, have a beer or two before the show, and then we come back to the house. Not everybody come back to the house. We, me and Alan, come back to the house, have a beer, and then do the show. But, you know, we were out there, you know, a couple weeks ago, and I was like, "Ah, I think I'm just going to bring it. I brought the truck out. I was like, maybe I'll just trade it in tonight. I was like, (laughs) title's just sitting there in the the, the glove box. I'm like, I think I might get a motorcycle tonight. It's been a while since I had one, but it's like, eh. Marty said free beer. It is free beer, Marty. Bruh, free. It is. You just got to scan the QR code and register and just show them that. And it's it's not free drinks. Yeah. There's some some liquor if that's your uh, if that's your poison. But I highly recommend the outfit beers. Oh, it's highly right. recommend it. Dude, I got out commission dispute with the dealership I was at. I sold three or four new cars and didn't make anything. I was so pissed. So I walked away. Oh, that's heartbreaking. Oh, I'm sorry, sorry to hear that, man. I'm, I'm s- sorry, buddy. Yeah. Damn. Oh. That's, that's you walk sad. around going, you, you, you. Just keying all the cars. You, right? <laughs> Damn, that sucks, man. That sucks. I'm Jump, sorry to hear it. Jumped, jumped up on top of a new Honda and just took a dump on the, the windshield. <laughs> God, I hope you put that clear coat on this. <laughs> <laughs> Well, yeah, so Marty, free beer. Not only free beer, like Alan said, it's free drinks too. Yeah, he said free drinks. They had like a full bar going out there. And they're just back. He had a DJ there. We went like for their St. Patty's Day party. And so everybody, they're playing, playing all kinds of music, but a lot of Irish and then uh, some local it was music. An Irish bike night. Yeah. Holy moly. It was really cool. And so I'm definitely, definitely wanting to go back. A hey, deuce through the moon, uh, sunroof. Yeah. See, I'm oh, so yeah. old, I call it a moonroof still. <laughs> and, and, and then you just start thinking about wash and you're like i miss wash <laughs> <laughs> well yeah so yeah we're, we we try to go to local events and whatnot and then obviously when we uh we hooked up with outfit brewing uh we were reviewing a uh brutal beer works beer it was a collab they had with outfit brewing out of dallas texas yep. and then you know when we posted the video outfits like hey don't forget to try the other one the, the other half of this collab, it's coming out, you know, this day. I was like, okay. I was like, shit, I'll go down there and get it. So I went down there and got it, checked in, um, rolled in kind of when they were close to me in closing and whatnot, had a beer, looked around. I was like, I could definitely come back to this place. And then, of course, we tag him in a video, and they're like, hey, I'm going to be out here, you know, giving out drinks and stuff all night at Maverick. You guys should roll by if you're close. I'm like, I live in Carrollton, bro. It's like, <laughs> like, at first you're like, nah. And I was like, hey, how far is it away from your house? You're like, five minutes, bro. I was like, so we're going, right? And you're like, yeah, we're going. I was like, nah, I'm out, man. I don't want to go. We don't want to set the expectation that we'll show up. We want to keep the we want to keep the expectation level low, right? Invite us out to your event. We'll shoot you down real quick. But then we'll have a little side conversation, like, hey, we're gonna go, right? Well, yeah. What well, they said. Well, they also said free beer. Well, free beer. So, I mean, I guess we're kind of obligated to go at this point, right? Like, uh, we got, we did, we got, uh, we got liquored up pretty quick. We had a couple, we only had a couple, but, uh, three. and then we, three. Had, we, we had three beers. So yeah. we had to have three. We had mm-hmm. to try them all. Uh, I bet y'all are good at selling cars. You could sell a Chevy to a Mr. Henry Ford. I, I, you know, I don't, I never got into the selling cars thing. You know what I mean? I, salesman thing is not one of my, uh, like I've been a credit buyer and things like that. And so you had to sell like certain, I, I don't know, trying to sell a rate or something like that to a dealer. But for me, I, I just can't do, I've got like some, some social anxiety and I've also got some, I just feel weird. And I, so I don't have that, that little piece that, that kind of works. 
for that kind of thing. I just, I can't do sales. I can't. Can you, Alan? I, I've never done um, car sales, but I've done like retail sales and stuff like that. Like I used to work at like EB Games back in the day and uh, slinging, you know, um, mag- the magazine, the card subscriptions with the magazine and pre-sales and things like that. Yeah, I could sell the crap out of that stuff. Yeah, that's that's, that they're already there. You know what I mean? You're like, hey, you want to add a, you want to be a power up? What is it? Power up for like uh, GameStop or whatever? Yeah. Hey, uh, yeah. oh, I used to, so the thing that I used to do when I was at EB Games was I hired a bunch of hot chicks mm. to work, right? I didn't need uh, – uh, what they would do is they would process the trade-ins behind the counter, and they were all they were all trained to – I'd be sitting there talking to a guy. I was like, hey, we got this big game coming out. You want to put your pre-order down? And they'd be like, oh, man, I don't know. And I had them all trained where they would turn around. They would most of them get up and look at me. I was like, oh, come on. Please reserve it. And they were like <laughs> – Oh, okay. <laughs> please, oh, come on, please reserve it. Alan demands free alcohol at every event using his I'm Pretty Big uh, Podcaster card. This guy wants everything for free. Like, he even had somebody send him a damn can crusher for free. And it, whoa, 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 whoa. he's just don't, sitting there. Don't, don't smirch my name. Sitting there smashing cans. Are you make another video saying thanks or whatever? He goes, yeah, I'm going to do it every quarter, man. I'm doing it every quarter. That was like four years ago. That's MF are still using that thing. You can sell a, po- a ketchup with popsicle set to a woman wearing white gloves. <laughs> I can't. Let me think of that movie. Oh, my God. I can't think of that movie. What is that? Today, Junior. Is that what it was? No, it's not. No, it's not. With white gloves. goes. Oh, no. Is it Tommy Boy? Yeah. It's Tommy Boy, right? It's like. Next thing you know, the two fairies all hopped up. Your dad was a legend. He could sell a Ice cubes to an Eskimo, right? Was that a thing? <laughs> that... I had a discussion with the wife, and she threw a jar of mayonnaise at me. I turned around and yelled, what the hell, men's? Oh, God. <laughs> I'm not hitting it again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so, real quick. That joke brought to you by Bubba Hotep. <laughs> <laughs> Let's recap real quick, because I think we have a, another beer in us. Um, tell everybody what you're drinking and, and give some initial thoughts. I am drinking Big Country. Uh, this is a smoked pecan and vanilla stout coming in at 10% alcohol by volume with the beautiful. I like, I want to go wherever this can image is. Like oh, that's, yeah. Although if you go out there, you got to watch out for cocaine bears on cocaine. I'm just saying. Uh, like, and just, uh, and he um, just got a refill from his invisible Spencer. I don't know what that means. Um, but <laughs> the delicious beer, um, slightly picking up the pecans, not, not a lot mostly the vanilla uh got a strong vanilla taste or not taste smell good vanilla taste smooth i mean for a 10 percenter it's going down pretty damn smooth i'm on my third one right now in 55 minutes so nice uh of course it's martin house monday right so we both have martin house beers yeah. i have astronaut apocalypse and this little fellow is coming in at 12 percent. this is a as you can kind of see right there imperial stout with coconut you know, the coconut's definitely mellowing this thing out. I, there is a little bit of a, I, I, th- I swear to God, I'm drinking a little bit of coffee, right? And I, I think the coconut and the coffee co- uh, complement one another very well. 12%, you know, I usually just fight those. I fight the whole time I'm drinking a 12% beer, but I think I'm going to have one more before we call it a night, <laughs> before we get out of here. I mean, let's just be honest. You see, it, it's it's like it's like you with, we, we talked about this with Henson last week you don't like whiskey but you have 12 different types of whiskey in your house right now i counted i actually counted the other day okay i got five. Oh, okay i'm just Again. saying i'm just saying because we th- we said it was six and i thought it might have been six hey i don't like mustard you know how many different kinds of mustard are in my house zero you want to know how many different mustards i have in my house you're a mustard guy. You probably have 14 different kinds of mustard. I've got like five, five or six. Did Martin House put out something crazy like 20% beer? They did. We reviewed that. Oh. Uh, Ice Mare. It was a. Um, Imperial Mint was, Stout. Or Imperial mint. Stout, but it was mint flavor. Right. And it, it it was good. It reminded us a lot of the Listerine be- breath strips, if you remember those. Let's take it back to the old Listerine be- breath strips. Yeah. Um, but, it, but yeah, no, they did. It, it seriously did uh, 
it bit down that alcohol though, because you're you're drinking a twenty five percent beer, and you're sitting there thinking to yourself like, what the hell am I doing? French mustard is the best. No, it's not. Ploshman's is the best for yellow mustard. That is, but uh, it's the one that looks like a barrel. It's got a red little uh, spin top on the top. I'm telling you right now, check it out. How, I li- how many uh, jars of Grey Poupon do you have? Maybe just one. Yeah, I like I like oh, brown. Hey. I like I like brown mustard. Uh, I like spicy brown mustard, brown mustard. I like uh, Dijon mustard. Um, I'll get. I have uh, yellow and maybe two yellows in the in the fridge because they taste different. Like Heinz yeah. tastes different to French's. French's taste different to Ploshman's. Um, they all taste it, it's different. But uh, I do like French. I do like French. But okay. uh, anyway, that beer, it was good, but we went outside to drink it, right? And we had a cold, cold front. We had a cold front coming in. So we do this review on YouTube. The, the video's up on YouTube. It's not very far down. It's, it's a recorded one. So when you go to our page, you don't have to scroll very far. Uh, it's one of our quick beer reviews, right? We do quick beer reviews, and we post them almost every single day. So if you check us out, if you're on YouTube, follow us. <laughs> Hit the sub; it's free, and all this content Probably is about free. A month ago, right? Yeah, Beginning about a month. Of February, I think, somewhere around there. It was so oh. effing cold outside. Of course, we had shorts on because it's it's show night, and we always wear shorts. Well, I don't, I don't wear pants, <laughs> yeah. so there, there's that. But we go through it. We split a 16 ounce can. One, it was so rare to find. Um, I, Alan went and go get it. Went and got it because if they were having it for Ice Fest, but they were like, you know what? People can't make it for that. We're going to, we're going to, a Friday night. If you come out Friday, you can get it. And so Alan drove right over there and got it. And we had it the following Wednesday. The can art was phenomenal. It was oh, good for a 25% beer. I'll say that, right? It, it's, you drink these things and you want to sip I think on it them. It might have been 24. I think it might have been 24. 24. 24, 25. Yeah, yeah. And it's, it's a beer that's meant to be sipped on. I mean, you're talking, yeah, you're yeah, almost yeah. getting into distilled spirits at that point. So it's a beer to be sipped on. So we split it and then we do the review in five minutes or less because it's freezing cold outside. But I'm out, I think I had my Viking hat on, I think, or some shit. I had something else going on, but it was just like it was cold and it wasn't bad, to be honest with you. But hmm. it's like not a beer I'm ever going to like have again. Obviously, I'll never have it again because it it's not around anymore. But it's like, why would I ever find myself drinking this beer in any normal circumstance? But it'll knock your socks off. But it was a real minty. It was super minty. But it was. Let me go. Ahead. I'm going to do you guys a favor. Click on that link right there if you want to watch that video. Yeah. Actually, click on it. Give it a thumbs up and say, "Hey, uh, I." You know, Judy was boring. Hello. Then Judy discovered ChumbaCasino.com. It's my little escape. Now Judy's the life of the party. Oh, baby, mama's bringing home the bacon. Whoa, take it easy, Judy. The Chumba life is for everybody. So go to ChumbaCasino.com and play over 100 casino-style games. Join today and play for free for your chance to redeem some serious prizes. ChumbaCasino.com. No purchase necessary. Voidware prohibited by law. 18 plus terms and conditions apply. See website for details. Okay, round two. Name something that's not boring. Laundry? Ooh, a book club. Computer solitaire, huh? Ah, oh, sorry. We were looking for Chumba Casino. That's right. Chumbacasino.com has over 100 casino-style games. Join today and play for free for your chance to redeem some serious prizes. Chumbacasino.com. No purchase necessary. Full work limited by law. 18 plus terms and conditions apply. See website for details. Put slam a lama ding dong in the comments or whatever, and maybe we'll uh, send you some swag, like some stickers, some koozies, stuff like that. Yeah, it's super quick. It's not very long. Most of our reviews, we don't go very long. Our live shows will go from anywhere from an hour to two hours long. But our quick beer reviews, when we, we're searching for every we're, – we're just out there grabbing beers, drinking them, uh, getting our initial thoughts. It's about anywhere from, I don't know, five to seven minutes, right? Anywhere, maybe three. Maybe three, three to seven. minutes and 51 seconds. And, Jeff, thank you for that sub, brother. Appreciate it. Molson, what's up? Oh, thank you. Uh, yeah, three minutes and 51 seconds is how long that review is. There's the link, guys. Um, check it out. And, again, comment on there. Slime a lama ding dong. We'll send you stickers. How's that sound? Stickers. Yeah. Guarantee it. All right? Um, you have to send us a message one way or another so we can get your right. wherever you want it sent to. We don't ask for your address or where you want it sent. We just want to, or we would just want to know where you want it sent well, to. Yeah. Yeah. I know some people are so, like, you know, I'm like, nah. The way I, when I, when, I uh, when someone wants a print or 
they want stickers, they want a shirt or something like that. I go, well, where do you want it sent? I like, I don't ever put like, what's your home address? You know what I mean? It just sounds weird. Yeah. So S- send it, send an e- so comment that mm-hmm. after you comment it, send an email to strike up here at gmail.com. And we'll, with the address and we'll, we'll send you a sticker. Maybe a koozie too. We got some stuff. Maybe. Yeah. We yeah. got some stuff. We got things. <clears throat> so there you go. But yeah, just check it out. Cause I'm telling you, like most of these beers we'll go through and we'll sit there and we'll have, we'll split, we'll split a 16 ounce beer, sometimes a yep. 24 ounce beer. And then we had a 30, 32 ounce beer once, but we're sitting there just drinking, you know, cause there's a ton of local breweries. There's a ton out of state. So, all right. So if you guys are here, you're listening right now. There's I'm, a lot of beer out there in the world. I'm getting my hands on some beer that are, is, is exclusive to the northwestern portion of Arkansas, right? It, it was some. It was supposed to be some cookie dough beer, some Skittles beer. Uh, yeah, yeah. Th- it ran out. My person it couldn't get up there, but so they they're coming back with an imperial stout, and they're coming back with something else like uh, the other beer. I don't know what it's called. I saw okay. the name. I go give me one of each, and then so that's what we'll, we'll have next week. So we we drink beer from everywhere. We, from everywhere we can get our hands on it, and we kind of give you an honest review on it. You know what it's supposed oh, yeah. to look yeah. like and taste like and things like that. And then. If they hit the mark or if they didn't hit the mark, and then, of course, we give it an overall, like, hey, would I drink this again or not drink this again? So we're pretty basic. Does it get the Fonz, the A, or or not, you know? Super Um, quick stuff. Super quick stuff. So, But I I feel like I want to do one more shout-out because, I mean, most of our our action tonight, even though Boiler's been over here, which we really appreciate, Billy Joe goes from from – you know, platform to platform. He, he, he rotates through all platforms. But, but old school wizard <laughs> in uh, his community is always like top notch. I love having everybody over here. You know, every time he puts the squads league together, it just, it, it shoots, you know, people up in, in the chat up and whatnot. And it just can't say enough good things about old school. So old school, you know, you're still, you know, just a legend. Love watching your streams. And if you don't know who we're talking about, you know, you, you're not paying attention because we always drop his link in the chat he has his he has his own command on my channel as well, and he's gonna have his own here as well in that as well. There you go. So old school two point and you know I love I love what he's doing. Right, he's just bringing people together to play Fortnite and hang out and have a good time. That's what he's doing. Yeah. So <laughs> Molson, yeah, he is okay. <laughs> yeah. Molson's Molson's better. I'll tell you that because Molson's the one that's carrying it. Molson's got to be either just exhausted from carrying all their asses. Him and Marty, you know. Marty's kind of over there just kind of shooting at the ground, shoot, or shooting in the air, shooting the ground, shit like that. They're on me. They're on me, bro. I'm in trouble. Come get me. You know, whatever. But, yeah. So, Olsen. so, so Molson's the guy that goes in there and just drags something out every time, right? Yeah. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. So he's he's pretty he's pretty vicious at the game. He, old school's really good, too, right? Old school is one. Yeah. That he taught me how to build, taught me all this other stuff. But, yeah, even when they play, it's like, oh, my God. I just <laughs> – they're crazy, man. They're crazy. But yeah, big shout-out to him. And, and obviously – he shares this out into his community on Discord, and then the people come over. Even the show, it was 20 minutes, you know, 15 minutes before he was even starting, and people were already in the chat saying hello, hi. You know, B uh, from O was in here, um, uh, Buckeye Bunny. So just want to say thank you so much for, you know, obviously the people he has and, and what he does for us. You know, he'll 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 throw it back. Oh, you guys are amazing for, you know, whatever. But, yeah, no, he – He's seriously yeah. here for us. Old Man Jerry, uh, Jersey was in here as well. Just want to make sure I had that name out there. Yeah, I know there's Old another Man Jersey, one. Jersey, Buckeye Bunny, Guppy. Guppy's been in here like the whole time. Yeah, Guppy, Guppy. Big shout out to Guppy. Guppy. So. Guppy. But yeah. <clears throat> but yeah, the beer's going down pretty good. BC Beer Reviews in the house. What's up? How are we doing? What Cheers. What's going on, BC? BC, what are you drinking tonight? What's uh, What's on tap? What do you got in your hand? We're drinking a couple stouts uh, from Martin House Brewing out of Fort Worth, Texas. Yeah, no problem. No problem. No problem. You know, just what I tell everybody this, and I met old school a long time ago. Like, uh, I think it was over, you know, me and him been chatting for over two years, hanging out, talking, phone calls, text messages, everything. I, I'm I'm heading up there later this year. And it's like, you know, when you meet good people, you know, they're good. You know what I mean? You you gravitate to them and, and you, you share thoughts, you collab, you know, and things like that. And, and old school is good people. So he's, he's great people. Mm-hmm. Uh, what was that? Marty's I've always have him one shot and Molson comes in and picks axioms. Yeah. 
That's what you know. What there's you know oh. with, with Fortnite, he's one shot, bro. And I remember some. I think it was a uh, uh, killer, killer clowns was like rolling through. He go, he's one shot, bro. He just got me. He one shot, and he goes in there and has to zap him like forty five times. He goes, he wasn't one shot, you idiot. <laughs> BC beer reviews. I'm drinking two hearted ale from Bell's beers. I fucking love that beer, bro, dude. That beer is so delicious. Um, I love the two hearted hail two two hearted ale the double two hearted ale is good and the light hearted ale all three versions of that are great i i just love bell's brewing like i i think bell's brewing is just the bee's knees it's good it's it, definitely good sound? beer um i was at happy hour on thursday and i was like hey talking to another guy and he finds out that i like craft beer and he he, he likes it as well and whatever and he goes what are you drinking i go i told him to dig me up a colch or uh you know whatever back there and he ends up giving me an uh oh hef he goes, you did? I go, yeah, but it's all stats, so I'm in on that. And he's like, yeah, you've had that before? I go, dude, I, I celebrate their entire catalog. <laughs> but he was he was drinking uh, Bell's, the Two Hearted Ale. And he goes, man, it's, okay. it's so good. I go, it, it is good. He goes, you had it? I go, dude, yes, I've had it. It's like... <laughs> My co-host on my shitty podcast is very adamant that I drink it. That and in the, the double-hearted, and the light-hearted, and yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I was at a uh, uh, one of those tap houses down the street from here, and they was like, "Hey, I got to get this keg out of here. You want to help me float it? And if you float it tonight, you don't have to pay. I go then. Just keep them coming, my man. Keep them coming. And, and, and it was they had a two-hour ale. They were trying to get out, and they were like, "It's so close. It's time to shift it out and and get it." And I'm like, "Okay, it's fine." And so I was like yeah. sitting there drinking that. I was like, oh, "It's." It's so damn I'm right good. there with you, BC. Yeah, so good. I, can't, I can't get enough. You know what? We we got to do it. We got, we got to revisit it. That's what we need to do. We need to revisit the Two Hearted Ale. I'll, I'll pick up six pack. Yeah, I. You know that's the thing, right? When you when we first started, we were getting things on a national level. There was some local breweries and things like that. We would go from we would go to and whatever. But I think the pandemic actually expanded us a lot. Like where we like, hey, we're going to this brew. We're going to this brew. We're going to this one. And we kept it really local, which Wait, I which, you hit up the Dallas side. I hit up the Fort Worth side. We, which with, I'm proud every of. Saturday, right? Like mm-hmm. pretty much every Saturday, I'd hit up all the breweries on the on the Fort Worth side. You hit them all up on the Dallas side, and we would meet. We'd meet at Hoppins thing, mm-hmm. and exchange beers and buy beers from them, mm-hmm. and, and we did that almost like every week because we were just you, you're picking up a bunch of beers from a bunch of different breweries. We're, we're both visiting five to six breweries in a day you're spending six seven hours driving around visiting all these breweries meeting exchanging the beers we were doing a lot more beer reviews back then because th- that was our only way of interacting with people was us jumping online and having a beer everybody so was at home yeah. right and, and it was it was also that and our fan you know families were tired of of dealing with us and talking to us so it was like it was super it was like hey babe i'm gonna go do a beer review yeah no no go 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 you know, you know, <laughs> you're, you're, you're not getting away from me enough right now i need you to go and do a beer review like sometimes it'd be like hey don't you gonna do a beer review tonight yeah yeah i do <laughs> <laughs> uh dave we hope you can even I, I i mentioned this earlier uh, i would love to be in the old school uh squads league i just Saturday mornings are rough for me. I, you know, I don't have kids or anything like that, but I have, I'm the maintenance guy around here, right? So I work every day of the week. And then I'm the guy, Lizzie fired the pool guy. Lizzie fired the damn lawn guy. He, fi- You know, she fires you. everybody. Well, and so well, didn't you tell her to, cause you couldn't tell them that they were fired. The pool guy could. Okay. Yeah. But yeah. And I was like, oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, fine. And so I, you know, now I had to learn how to do this and do that. And so Saturday morning is kind of just, it's got me. It's got me by the the, the short curlers, right? And and I, I can't do anything about it. But I would like to do it because, I, I I mean, hell, I used to stream Saturday and Sunday morning. I used to get the big old cup of coffee, sit there and paint. I used to play games. I would paint. I would prep things. And uh, I had the most fun, to be honest with you, doing stuff like that on Saturday, uh, Saturday and Sunday morning. I might try and get, you know what, if the next one's not during a softball season, I'll, I'll see what I can do to get in on that. Yeah. It's a lot of fun. They have a blast. I had him up on the TV um, this pack. Week. Listen, folks, everybody has YouTube on their television. You don't have to, you know, if, you, if you're worried about, oh, I got to do this on my phone or whatever, put it up on your TV. Put it up on your TV, watch, and just listen to the interaction and listen. Hey, let old school just take those worries out of your mind as you're out there in the garage. Here's what I miss. I miss the old school flights. Mm-hmm. 
because that was a blast. Mm -hmm. Like you, you picked your seats, the the wait staff would come around, you know, drink calls, come around, drink call. It, it it was always a good time. Not to mention, like for forever. He crashed the plane every time when he landed. <laughs> one, the one, the first time he landed, his stream kicked out. Like his stream went down <laughs> when he landed it. He comes back and he's all excited. Everyone's like, "What just happened? Your stream went down." He's like, "What? What do you mean my stream went down, bro? Your stream went down. No one saw you land." <laughs> <laughs> oh, I just dropped his link in the chat. I, I highly recommend him. You know, he he's not a you know. He's not a uh, sponsor of this stream or anything like that. He's a massive supporter, and we are a sponsor of him. M Marty, I, hey, I was on every flight and stuck in the restroom. Oh, no. Marty kept getting up going to the bathroom. Like, we're over there. Hey, we're sitting back on, like, row 31, having some drinks, you know, grabbing some ass as they walk by and whatnot. It's like, man, we're having a blast back here. Hell, even Rumley. Rumley was sitting up in co uh, first, uh, first class. Yeah. Uh, uh, Guppy, I got you guys on my side monitor while I play Call of Duty. Hey. We're more than excited to be the side chick. We celebrate that. Man. We don't deserve to be your bet. Your number one. No, 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 no. I don't think there's anything better than being a side. I love being a side. It's awesome. It's like phenomenal. Because you know why? You know why you're a side? Because you're better than the main. They don't want to give up that. <laughs> you're better. You're better. You're better. You're well, better. you're stuck with the main. Like, there's something committing you to the main, yeah. right? Like, yeah. You know, like, a, I don't know, whatever. But the side, there's there's no commitment there. Like, if you just decide, you know what? I'm done. Okay, cool. Yeah. I'm done, too. I'm just a side. Whatever. Oh, boy. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. So, yeah. We got big, damn good, but yeah, big shout out. Big shout out. I, I do like Robin more than Batman. Oh. I, I'm, a, I'm a Robin guy. I've got a Robin poster hanging, actually hanging up on my wall. Like. Ugh. But that's like a so the the poster that I have is from the second comic book I ever bought. Yeah. And it was a Robin number one. It was a limited series. Which Robin? Are we talking like this is Tim Drake. No, this not you. I'm I'm asking Guppy. Which Gu okay. Guppy, which Robin are you more of a fan of? Just any Robin? Or is there a Tim Drake or is it uh Dick Grayson? I mean it, they're all good, right? So you got Dick Grayson, right? who was the best of all the Robins, who's Nightwing, who, who's freaking awesome, right? Um, Last season got, coming up on um, HBO Max is uh, April 16th, I think. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you got Tim Drake, who was an all – he's still Robin to this day, uh, Tim Drake is. Um, but he's really great. It's, it's uh, Michael You've Keaton. got Jason Todd, short period of being Robin, but became Red Hood pretty awesome and then you've got damien right now damien wayne i mean come on that dude's a psychopath you gotta love him <laughs> <laughs> uh for batman we've talked about this many times yeah, we've done this we've done this over on part-time nerd uh, it, it's keaton for us yeah keaton but i'll tell you what uh adam west is a very very close second uh, he's oh, always buddy. he's gonna be always in our hearts and uh but yeah no i Listen, the the Batman trilogy, the the, uh, the Dark Knight trilogy, and things like that was phenomenal. I was so excited. I, I loved every one of them, but I I still have to go back to Batman '89. It's just it's just a part of my childhood, right? I, I'm looking forward to the Flash movie because mm -hmm. of the Keaton Batman, mm -hmm. right? Uh, the Flash, not so much. I'm not big on Ezra Miller's Flash, and this is before all the I'm a really bad person stuff. Mm -hmm. This was just in the Justice League. I didn't really care for his Flash that much. Um, but his flash is bringing me back, getting me Michael Keaton Batman again. Mm -hmm. So I'm all in. I'm I, yeah, I'm all in because because of Keaton. Nice. So well, Jason Todd Guppy, yeah, I, love me some Jason Todd. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it, it, all the all the different Robins are, they all have their different aspects, right? They're different points or different things they're better at and things like that. Um, I I do enjoy them all. Tim Drake does hold a special place in my heart because again, he was the um first first Robin that Tim, I uh got into. Tim right? Drake that was the t Tim Drake. <coughs> okay, Tim Drake because it was Robin issue number one. Mm -hmm. It was a five issue limited series that I got. Um, That's probably worth some dough there, pal. 
No, it's not. It's not really. Oh, geez. Um, okay. No, no. Uh, again, I've bought, I, I still have my original one that I bought. I don't have the poster from the original one I bought because when I was a guy, I hung it up on my wall then. But since then, I've picked up out at Pastime. I've actually picked up two more copies of it, um, and they both had the poster in it. And uh, I pulled the poster out of one of them, and it, it's framed on my wall now. Nice. So, Real nice. I'm getting ready to have a little Robin section on my wall because I got some Robin action figures and pops and stuff that I'm going to put in this one little section on the wall nice. directly in front of me. So You can look at his oh, little yeah. bulging short shorts all day. Oh, they're so bulging. They're so bulging. Uh, I have an original 15-inch action figure of Keaton Batman from 89. That is freaking awesome, Marty. That's what like, I was saying. I go, that is that that's probably worth some dough. And you're like, no, it's not. That, oh, I thought you were talking about my, my Robin comic. I no, was like, no, I was talking about that. Yeah, right. that probably is. Yeah. All right. Uh, before we go, we got these beers. We're going to finish them on our own time, but we've already had three or four. I think Alan's on his fourth. I'm on my third. I am on my fourth. Um, I'm going to give it a thumbs up. Like, if you can oh, get your yeah. hands on this, I have Martin House Astronaut Apocalypse. It's an Imperial Stout with coconut. Uh, we're, we're talking 12% ABV. I'm giving it a thumbs up. I highly recommend it. it you know, actually, comp, it, it's really good. So, I, I've had that before, and I don't, again, I don't know if it was just me drinking it or us drinking it together. I'd have to go back and double check the tape. Mm-hmm. But it's it's a good beer. I remember having it, and it was really good. I mean, it, and it you're you're bringing in with the title two things that I'm like, okay, astronauts and apocalypse. Come on, yeah, and you combine those, yeah. Uh, it's got cool can art, but I, I'm drinking uh, what was it? Big Country, um, and it's a smoked pecan vanilla stout that's delicious, coming in at 10% alcohol by volume. Great beer. Nice. It's just really damn good. Well, we're going to get out of here uh, again. Old school, thank you so much. Appreciate all the love. Um, Alan, you got anything to say before we get out of here? I love you guys. All right, there you go. Well, old school, I had my first yingling. They started having them in my area not oh. long ago. Congratulations. Drink all the different the- variations. Drink them all. Black mm, and tan, blonde, you know. them all. Come on. Have a great Tuesday, everyone. Yeah, you too. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to tune in Wednesday, 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. We're going to be talking the NCAA tournament, uh, NFL free agency. Um, what else? There was other stuff. Baseball season starting. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know what? Umpires are getting too big for their britches. Oh, God. We're, we're actually going to do a, a review, a quick beer review after this, and we're going to talk about that. So make sure you have the noties on. That will post sometime in the next couple of days. But umps are getting too big for their britches. Uh, and we're going to talk about that a little bit. But thank you guys so much for watching. We appreciate you guys. Uh, we love you guys. Thanks for watching. As always, I'm Alan. I'm Reverend Dave. We'll talk to you guys later. Deuces. Thanks for listening to Strikeout Beer. With the Lucky Land Slots, you can get lucky just about anywhere. This is your captain speaking. Uh, we've got clear runway and the weather's fine, but we're just going to circle up here a while and uh, get lucky. No, no, nothing like that. It's just these cash prizes add up quick. So I suggest you sit back, keep your tray table upright, and start getting lucky. Play for free at LuckyLandSlots.com. Are you feeling lucky? No purchase necessary. Void where prohibited by law. 18 plus terms and conditions apply. See website for details.